Hello, I'm Andrew Lizim. Welcome to Aurora Forex C Sharp playing as United Earth. We are one and a half years into the latest government term, and uh, we've got a lot going on. We have managed to just about begin to solve our mineral crisis, which is not good, uh, but it is now. I wouldn't say fixed, I would say. It is in the process of being turned around. Like, we no longer are getting mineral pop-ups flashing, telling us, oh, you know, we don't have enough minerals. Uh, we have enough minerals. Admittedly, we have stopped doing a lot of stuff so that we can do the things we can do, if that makes sense. Uh, but we're no longer having the whole pop-up going, hey, you don't have enough minerals. Um, we need to equalize the situation. And what we've done in short term is move a lot of our minds from general production to production of stuff for mines, i.e. corundium. We now need to replace the mines we took from here without compromising this, which means that these need to make more mines so that we can then replace this group. Um, it's going to take time. It's going to take quite a lot of time. In fact, if we go over here um, and we pull up Earth Industry... Yeah, even running at 50% capacity, which is quite a lot of our industry... That's going to take, what, six more years to be able to get 1,200. I estimate that we've probably moved around 700. So we're looking at about four years just to replace the mines that we moved. And that's not including any sort of expansion that we'd normally do in that time. It's rough, but if we increase the percentage we're dedicating to mines, we'll probably just run into the problem again that we don't have corundium to make the mines. So we're doing what we can. I've queued up some deep space tracking stations. Of course, we're currently working towards one of the government motions, the colony kit motion uh colony kit act um seeker uh and that does state that we need to be able to send a load of deep space tracking stations to all of our developing colonies um we actually have a load just sitting around on earth but i thought hey we might as well just replace them with some more um let's build another 30 and i've also then dedicated a transport here to actually go and take a deep space tracking station to every colony which needs one. Obviously, a couple actually had one already, and turns out that everywhere in the Sol system that we've colonized didn't. So we're also going to take one to everywhere in the Sol system, which includes one of the most pointless deep space tracking stations ever, the moon. Because deep space tracking stations add together if they're on the same body. But one on the moon is not going to add to anything because it's the one on the moon Whereas we have like 30 to 40 sitting on Earth. Which is going to overpower anything. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the most pointless one ever. But it does require us to have a deep space tracking station on each colony. So it will have one on the moon. Uh, we have currently also got... Uh, not you. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You loading spaceports and taking them over to Subject Delta, and I believe you going to Subject Delta as well. And then once that's done, Subject Delta will have spaceports, which obviously the TK requires. We're then going to put spaceports over into Agent, and I believe Idril, and Hoyle, and also all of the other places in the solar system. But at least that's close, and that'll be a lot easier to do. Uh, the one thing we have to bear in mind, however, is that yet again, people have decided, hey, why don't we go live on an abandoned alien planet? People have just moved in to unique fossils, so we're going to have to pull them out of there or we'll have to actually um, provide for them. Uh, people have wondered, like, how, how do you marry the whole, like, the seeker requires you to send this stuff to colonies, so you're actually evacuating a couple of colonies so you don't have to send the stuff. How do you marry that together? Um, I view this as kind of like the government sets the policy objective and the civil service which you know obeys the government in our reality like in this future the civil service is much more like you give me a policy objective i will do the best i can but i have to do it with that policy objective in mind i'll do the best i can the best i can sometimes means abandoning colonies that just aren't worth that cost right now it might be worth the cost down the line, but right now we don't have the colony ships to send that. And I have to do the best thing I can to meet the objective of the motion. The objective of the motion is to make sure that all colonies are provided for. I'm going to reduce the number of colonies to make sure I can meet the motion. It's impossible to really provide the amount to an extra few places because at the end of the day, we don't have the transport capacity for it. And we don't have the uh, minerals to make the transport capacity particularly higher, at least we're not right now. Uh, so, with that said and done and in mind, we've just uh, begun our research into electronic warfare. Finished 
on my information service. Uh, command information center. Sorry. Um, and uh, we should be good to continue on. Oh, hello. We just found some shields. Slow down. Give me a pause. Come on. Give me a pause. There we go. Wow. I want to go look at those shields. Thank you very much. They were at Davit, I believe. Davit, 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 Davit. Yes, so let's just assemble one of them. Oh, regeneration 2.5. Yeah, let's disassemble all of them. There we go. Get some nice tech towards that. Oh, and the screw loose cannot do its standing order. Okay. Where are you positioned in the gump system? Down here. Right. Ah, uh, Sanction Part List is also there. Uh, yeah, since Sanction Part List is there, head over to Caldi. Get to work on, uh, I believe, Jump Point 1. Yeah, have a little poke through there, see what you can find. This map is getting very crowded. We'll probably have to move Aurora, Solani, Hennywares, and then if we move them further down, they're going to block these. It's it's going to be a bit of a mess. I don't know what the best way to solve this is going to be. I, I guess maybe we flip it, like Vastran Tomb, Unique Fossil come down here, which means first blog, etc. Unique Fossil will be closer to Aurora that way, and then I, I guess we... I don't know, we shift some of this across or something and move, it's a, it'll be a process. And obviously you can only select one and move it at a time. You can't like box select and drag. Box selecting is not a thing, so. Hmm. Uh, right. Oh, we found the death dealer in Lewis. Okay, that seems lovely. Also, subject delta, they're complaining about overcrowding. Subject Delta A1. Why are you complaining about overcrowding? Oh, it's because we took people from uh, Slaying Hurdle to dump them there. Oh, I didn't realize you were going to get quite so busy quite so quickly. Uh, we can't change this because they're relying on orbital habitats. We can't just send over an orbital habitat, at least not particularly quickly. We're going to have to shift people off. We can't really shift them over to C. C is actually over capacity as well. Or how many more people we got to send? Ooh. There's at least another... Maybe two journeys in that. Closest place is to bring them back to Sol. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Auto route back to Sol. And then go dump them on, well, Titan. Let's be honest. That's where it needs it. And then back to Sling Hurdle again. Do the entire thing again. Well, back to Sol. And then we can refuel. Okay. The actual overcrowding that's going on, we're, we're just going to leave. It's only a m tiny bit of overcrowding, and I'm, I'm sure they'll get used to it. And if they don't, well, we're going to have to think of something pretty damn fast. Meanwhile, you're just taking people from Earth to Titan. You'll be doing that for a little bit longer. Fine. Right. Sanction parts list. What is your complaint? All right, you've looked through everything in Gump. I, I guess, I guess we can poke our heads through. It's going to require a lot of shifting on the map, which obviously I'm not looking forward to because that's a pain. I guess I'm going to shift stuff on the map.
Okay, welcome to the galaxy map. Uh, again, what I've done is, as I mentioned, I flipped Sleepy Zoe to be up to Galactic North. I've moved a whole load of the stuff down to here, and then I had a shift of basically this entire section for the ghosts and shifted it all down while having a bit of a fiddle around over here to kind of get us the extra room. It looks a lot better than it did. You still have this one big path that kind of crosses everything, but that's going to be the case that can't really be avoided. Um, the only other bit that kind of is a bit weird is this bit over here. Again, going to be the case, can't be avoided. This bit here with Aurora that links Unique Fossil through down to Jeff, Homie, Hennyways, etc. Yes, there are a lot of connections here that are going to breed extra jump points, but they might well connect to ones we already know. So I'm not too worried about the fact that they're a little bit boxed in at the moment. We'll find out what happens when we jump through them later on. But now we're much more focused on this area over here because we're, you know, planning to actually go for Sleepy Zoe, Tiergal, etc. Uh, Aliwiz does actually look reasonably okay like this because it is a system that kind of loops around Idril, Agent, Vulgaris, Sol, Strategist, Davit, Yabashidu, back to Aliwiz. So that's kind of fine. And obviously the Grovenant Protector are over here kind of blocking us. So... Did I need to do anything? I was like, oh, was I meant to be doing something? Oh yes, Sanction Parts list. Uh, you're currently in Gump system, I, I guess. Poke it? Sure. Poke it. Okay, so we have our first artificial Lagrange point now set up in Subject Delta. We now have one in the inner system, so we can actually jump from here to here quite easily. That is going to be very useful. Perfect. Um, I don't know where we actually want to send you right now. I guess we'll just bring you home for now. I don't think there's actually anything we really need from you, at least ASAP, unless we're wanting to hook up Tomb a little bit more, but I think we can just hold off on that for a bit. So I'll bring you back to Sol. I mean, you could do with some fuel, so. Do a, a bit of a refuel. Now, one of the things we could also do with is uh, Collier ships. Um, those are ships which basically can move missiles around, and that's their job, to provide other places with missiles. Other ships or colonies or what have you, they move missiles around. And to do that, we really don't really want to use a military ship. We want to use a civilian ship, and magazines are a military component. However, in research, missiles kinetics, there is... Commercial magazine. Inefficient in terms of space and will explode if hit. Non-military system. So, there you go. Um, we're going to grab that and we're going to start working on it. Uh, the question is where we're going to grab people from. And we'll grab... I mean, as much as I don't want to touch research rate, I feel that I might end up touching research rate. I don't want to... Let's take the refueling system. Yeah, let's grab five from there. We'll grab three from generator size and we'll grab three from electronic warfare. Right, how long that take? Like a year, less than that. Perfect, because that is kind of required by one of our mandates. One of our mandates basically says, hey, um, you need to be able to provide missiles and reload places in subject Delta and in agent. Either we make missiles on site, or we have to ship missiles and be able to load them. Um, well, yes, actually, we do need to be able to make missiles on site. But the spirit of the thing also says we should ship some missiles over anyway, because they might not be able to make missiles. We'll have to see. In fact, it's worth looking up now. Let's have a look. Um, wrong one. That one. Technology report. Missile. So, uh, Wakasashi and... Uh, Tana, those are our current ones. If we pull up Earth Industry Ordnance, yeah, we will need Tritanium, Gallocite, and Fuel. I guess it's worth checking. Do we have Tritanium, Gallocite, and Fuel? If we go to Agent, um, search all. Wow, this is all? Tritanium. Ugh, I, 0.1 accessibility. Yes. Galasite. 
Uh, if we go for the... What is this? One of the comets we can get a bit. Otherwise, again, point one of accessibility. And sorry, um, yeah, we're going to have to, again, refine that from a comet or something. This is not an ideal location to have like a military base in terms of the resources. We can ship fuel in from somewhere else, but we actually require the ability to, I believe, produce ordnance on site. And let me just bring up the actual text of this act. This is the, uh, what is it called? The something defense act? Let's pull it up. Election season. No. Parliament voting. There we go. Uh, Outer Defense Act, the ODA. So ODA says that uh, in subject alternate agent, we need construction of refueling hubs. So it doesn't need to be able to harvest sorium there, but it needs to be able to provide it. Ordnance factories, construct weapons, and provide a forward operating base. Okay, so forward operating base, they're going to need maintenance facilities. Uh, they will need ordnance factories to construct weapons. So we'll need the Gallocyte, the, what was the other one? Tritanium. Um, and then we will need fuel. Well, we can just ship the fuel if we need to. Okay. Uh, what about over in Subject Delta? Bit better. Okay, Tritanium. Yes, available at one place that we're colonizing. Obviously, this is the place we're colonizing, I believe, with orbital habitat, so it's not going to be many, but we're going to have the ability to do that. Uh, Galasite. Um, there is a civilian mining company here doing the job, so that's acceptable. And then fuel. Well, Sorium. Ugh, again, no gas giant. We're going to have to ship fuel to both these places. They are good strategic locations, don't get me wrong. But the lack of gas giants are really hurting us. This, actually, this is a gas giant. You can tell by the minus one colony cost. Oh, that was the one gas giant as well. Oh, it's just a much lower amount. Okay, the gas giants there were going to be helpful. Did I miss a gas giant and agent by mistake? Just to check. No, yeah, agent really just doesn't have a gas giant. Oh, weird. Subject Delta won't be too bad. Um, we can do a lot of our stuff there. Agent, on the other hand, a bit more of a pain. We'll need to ship stuff in. It's not too far from Sol, so we can set up a tanker run or something. Um, we'll probably set up like a, a specialist thing for that to make sure we don't overfeed it with fuel. Meanwhile, you're complaining about your overcrowding. Whatevs. Whatevs. Okay, I've set uh, Jagnath Group B to go and take spaceports over to both of the places in Agent, which should fulfill that part of our uh, job. We also found the system of Outnik. Not very much there. Uh, one thing that has come up, however, is that shortage of corundium in production of mine. Oh, joy. It's been a while since we've had that, but it's back with a vengeance. Ah, got that. Right. Titan, let's just double check. Oh, you have a stockpile. That means we aren't sending enough. Okay. Well, that's actually relatively easy to sort then we'll just send you two more mass drivers how are we doing for mass drivers on earth uh says 50 yeah you're good let's designate you as our oh ah uh, you're bringing minerals over from Hoyle okay uh you're not cycling interesting Oh, it's from the asteroid where we didn't manage to shift all the minerals off. That's fine. Uh, we will load installation mass driver. Auto route over to... Whoops, wrong one. Head over to Titan. Unload. All installation. Repeat that. You know what? We've got so many, we're going to repeat it twice more. Want to guarantee we start dumping those off. And that won't take you very long at all. Hopefully... It'll unload fast enough that we can get over this shortage of corundium, but that shows you just how on the edge of production we are. Like, 
a tiny bit being held back is causing us to run into issues again. Okay, we found the new system of Melissa Riddle, which is not too small a system. What do you have? Well, damn, you've got uh, 86 moons and 164 asteroids. That's, that's a lot of moons. Um, a relatively habitable-ish planet. Not totally locked. Pretty small. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to what the actual survey says about that one. That could be interesting. Okay, so you remember the uh, orbital mine of the back team that we had? Well, even with two mass drivers, it's producing so much stuff that it's getting a stockpile. So, yeah. We're going to need to work on that. Let us send over some stuff. I believe one of the Jagnaths just became available, which, funnily enough, was going to Hoyle. So, we're going to just send you straight back there. Grab a mass driver. Auto route to Hoyle. Unload. Go back to Sol. Do a refuel. Obviously, this is quite a long trip. And then repeat that. You know what? Repeat it two times over spec if you need to. We have the mass drivers. They're not doing anything sitting around on Earth. Um, they're meant to be taken places. I kind of prepared enough mass drivers for like a mass expansion this decade. The mining issue kind of put paid to that. And now with the Colony Kit Act, we can't afford to do mass expansion. So we're just going to have to hold tight And now. But with the mineral problem, we probably weren't going to be doing a mass expansion-ish anyway. I'd have probably like seeded some colonies or something. But other than that, so it isn't isn't too much of an issue. We can build at ones that we already have. That's fine. Okay, that's uh, you saying. Hey, we got the last people from Slaying Hurdle. We should, if we now look at Slaying Hurdle, see. No one living there. Why are people living there? Well, people are living there. Are you up to date? You just said you couldn't pick people up. Wait, that number looks suspiciously like that number. I wonder if this screen we refresh. No. Oh, well, I guess we might need to go back or something. We'll see. It might update in a minute. Okay, the Firethrax 2 is completed in order. It's now orbiting Saturn, which means we have, if we check Sol. Oh, yes, we've got a mess. But obviously, aside from that, you now see we have a Lagrange point 2, a Lagrange point 1. Saturn's here, Jupiter's down here. We have a couple of Lagrange points that we can use to jump around. I think I know it's a, a bit of a risk. It makes it less defensible, but I think I'm going to chuck in some more Lagrange points. It'll make transiting around the Sol system much quicker. And quite frankly, people transit around the Sol system all the time because this is the hub of everything. So, yes, we're going to do that. I know it's potentially less uh, less safe, but at the end of the day, we need to just improve our industrial capability right now. And cutting transit time is basically an improvement for industrial capabilities. It speeds up transits, which means more minerals. So, uh, Father Prax 002. Go to Earth and... Stabilize the Grange Point. Now, that'll take you a few years because Earth isn't particularly big, but it can be done. Um, Slaying the hurdle still has people. Hmm. 
Hi, it's me, Anir Elysium, and I'm back here to point out that we still have a shortage of Corundium, despite the fact we've got 12 mass drivers on Titan shooting stuff over. Titan has 900 mines, 200 automated mines. The population is in full swing working in mines. We've got 45 million people working in them. We still have not enough people, and Earth has generated loads more mines now. In fact, Earth has just like 300 mines. Where are they? Here we go, sitting here ready to be taken and obviously the Jagnaths are kind of busy right now moving spaceports so with that said I think it's time to build more Jagnaths we kind of have enough minerals at earth to build them I'm hoping and we're not going to Corundium but still got a Jagnaths Mm, yeah, the one they really hit is the Duranium, and even then, we can probably build like 20 of them. So, yes, we're going to be building, well, as many as we can, um, six at a time, I guess. So, Argo Fleet, use components if available. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, um, is it worth going for like another slipway? Um, that way we could have like 10 slipways. We could just pump out a batch of 10 Jagnaths at a time. It's tempting. I think our Neutronium situation is pretty reasonable. Yeah, let's start that up. Uh, we don't really have Macassium to build more colony ships right now, which is kind of what I would like to do. How much are they? Mm, yeah, actually, we could build five of them. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, construction into colony fleet. One, two, three, four, five. All right, yeah, let's get that show on the road. Both of them are needed. Meanwhile, kind of looking around at our military stuff, we do have the minerals and we have the population. Like, we have available workers. I think it's time to open up expansion of ship uh, sh shipyards. I was going to say slipyards or ship shipways. Slipyards. That's the thing. Um, no, we want to try and expand the capacity to 30,000. Because here's the way that jump drives work. Hey, I can jump any number of people up to uh, 30,000 tons. Uh, how many people max? Is there a max? There's a max. Okay, the max is four people. Okay, well, I'll jump me. I'm 30,000 tons, and I'll jump uh, these three others who are 22. Well, why don't we just jump 30,000 tons and four of them? So we're going to start, and the next generation of our ships is just going to be bigger. It's more efficient that way. Uh, so we will add continual capacity upgrade with a target of 30,000. Downside is does not give you a completion date, which sucks. Like, the game can easily give you a completion date. It has the stats, it knows how fast you build, but no, it decides not to bother. Yeah. Either way, um, this 10,000 tonner here, kind of tempted to give it something, but I'm not sure what it would be. We could up it to 15,000, um, give it something in line with what was already existing here, make sure you've got this kind of pair going on. Um, yeah, let's give you a 5,000 tons. Um, what else do we need to do? Uh, that's kind of it. The only thing I'd be tempted to do is to make maybe like another commercial slip. But shipyard, I'll keep wanting to say slipyard now. But I think we're kind of fine. Uh, we can, we can always queue one up. Commercial shipyard complex. It's geranium and neutronium. Again, the geranium might be an issue, but... We have enough mines to sort it if we can just get them into the right places. Because we cut our geranium production massively to get the corundium under control. Oh, someone died. We lost uh, whoever's running 18 research labs. Who's in charge of 18 research labs? Let's play the game. Who died? And didn't leave their notes. Well, we have uh, sense of fire control, missiles... Is it construction production? It is indeed. All right, Kara DeWitt, you're now in. 
Do me proud. And I don't know what I want to queue up after that. Faster jump point stabilization module, maybe. Maximum orbital mining. Well, to be honest, once this is done, we'll probably transfer you to other jobs. Um, maybe, you know, maybe we'll do the quicker shipyard stuff. That's twenty thousand. Yeah, we'll queue it up. Although you'll be a less high priority when that comes around. And oh, we should probably say assign you some of these. All right, we got a commercial magazine. And also, Mars has the requisite level. And also, our colony ships are above Slaying Hurdle. Slaying Hurdle, please tell me you've got no one on board. You've got... Why do you have 0.2 million there? Genuinely, where are you getting these people from? Because we just... We just loaded... I think this must be a bug. This must be a bug. Because last time we picked up 0.19. And yet 0.19 were there. And now we picked up what looks suspiciously like 0.2 million. And 0.2 million are there. I wonder if it's because of something to do with the military tag. Let's try it again. Also, meanwhile, let's go do uh, Mars. How's the environment looking? Uh, water. Water's raining down. Oxygen is good. Yeah, Mars is basically done. I will just add a little bit more water vapor just to make sure this, you know, keeps going and we don't have any, like, stalls or anything. But we're going to have to start thinking about where to send the original greenfield, the 200 terraformer greenfield after this. Where do we want to, where do we want to send such a huge beast? Probably through to Sleepy Zoe, you know, Tholus, Sleepy Zoe, Caldi, Tiergal, like a lot of dense stuff up there. Um, Ali Wiz. Where are the other two? Let's just go check where the other two are. Yeah, one of them's over in Ali Wiz, and the other one's over in Agent. And obviously, Ali Wiz and Agent are kind of on the same thing near Idril. Vastran. I don't think it's necessary to send anything around there. We could send it over to Subject Delta. Which, um, eh, it's not massively worthwhile. Like, there are places here that we could flip, but none of them stand out as like, we, we need to flip this. This is too good to pass up. Or maybe this one. Actually, the amount of Kronium and Tritanium, it'll be gone really quick. Yeah, um... Whereas if we send it over to Sleepy Zoe, we can flip this one. Let's just limit it to minerals only. Uh, obviously, we can't flip that one. We can finish flipping this one. Um, low gravity, low gravity. Okay, why have I marked a low gravity one? Either way. Um, we could flip that. Again, we wouldn't really want to. We could flip this one. Again, this is low gravity. A bunch of asteroids are low gravity. There are a couple of more terrestrial ones down here with low availabilities. But hey, if we wanted somewhere just to live, like I think the better idea is to send a Sleepy Zoe. Even though that's going to take an eternity to get there, we're probably going to need to send a, t uh, a tanker with a tug. Maybe a couple of tankers eventually. But either way, it's probably the better bet. Slaying Hurdle is, is great if you want tiny amounts of minerals for not the right amount of input, sadly. I want to say it's better, but it's, it's not. Uh, right. We're checking that out. We're checking that out. But oh, we did Commercial Magazine. Okay. Let's check in on you. What can we do in Missiles Kinetics? Well, obviously, Gauze Cannon Fire Rate. We've done half the work from Precursor Tech. Um, the launch velocity might help a little bit, and it's very quick to do. Basically, because the closer you are into the weapon's fire range, the more likely you are to hit, etc. It probably won't make a huge difference. I'm pretty sure it's the beam fire control is based off of not the actual weapon range. 
but whatever. I mean, it's cheap. It'll take us a few weeks to do. Um, we could do more explosive missile. We could do reload rate, which would be ridiculous. Um, agility, like there's a lot of upgrades we could do to our missiles. I don't want to go too heavy on the missiles, but at the same time, it has been a while in game now, so I wouldn't feel too bad about it. Yeah, let's just queue up a whole bunch of stuff to do here. Madeline Steel. Uh, let's start off with Gore's Cannon Fire Rate. Uh, well, sorry, Launch Velocity. Then we'll do the Fire Rate. Then we'll do the Magazine Efficiency. Neutralization. Uh, we'll do the Agility. The Reload Rate. And the two-stage uh, Thermonuclear Warhead. Matt should keep you busy. Oh, we can also do the commercial magazine in the 500 size. Yes. In fact, we should actually pop that to the top. Right. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Testing our theory. Slaying hurdle. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got that on forward ticking. Stop forward ticking. There we go. And where are our colony ships? Okay, they're doing a they're doing a lift. Okay, yeah, that's a bug. Uh saying hurdle is now depopulated. I'm just gonna military restrict it just in case someone wants to do something funky. Uh, we've actually managed to get the colonists off. However, we also end up with this very amusing message. We were unable to load colonists due to lack of capacity. We're too full. Ooh, oh, no. We're unable to load colonists as number available. What? You're both too full and too empty at the same... What? We're too full, but also we can't load any because there's none to load. What? Like... There's actually space at... This is Schrodinger's colony. I have no idea what they're... But okay, sure. Um, What we'll do then, it was go to Subject Delta. We'll take a swing past A1 and we will uh, load colonists because they're complaining a little bit. And then we'll go back to Sol. We'll go to Titan. We'll unload colonists and then we'll go to Earth and refuel. Great. Hopefully you'll not be complaining now. Alright, the Jagnath G group has freed itself up. I could start moving spaceports around, but I'm not gonna. Um, we have other people doing that. Whoops. Um, and also our spaceports are down to 6.25 and we're still moving them. Uh, by the way, both places subject Delta have spaceports and agent is getting there so we're on the road uh then we just got to do idril and everything in the soul so we're gonna grab mines because there's loads sitting there and then we're gonna fly them out to europa and unload all installations i believe it's europa we want right europa we get a fair few things io we would be more limited we'd get tritanium but uh we could we could spread out we could do both yeah, what's we'll doing both? We could also do Callisto if we cared. That gives us Macassium, admittedly at 0.3, but whatever. Sure. I mean, Callisto doesn't have many people on it, so I guess we won't do Callisto for now. Uh, we're going to go to Europa, unload all installations, then go to Earth, load installation, mine, go to Io, unload all installation, Earth, refuel. And then we will repeat this. This is 20 ships and take 100 to each. Sure, why not? Five times. So, four times. Well, four more times. Okay. That should be a pretty quick run. Now, you might be like, well, why aren't you taking them to solve the Corundium? Why don't you take them to Titan? Titan still has a people problem. I'm not going to bother shifting mines over until we've got more people on Titan, which will happen. It will just be, again, colony ship going back and forth. Okay, 
it's finally time. I'm setting up a group of only 10 so they won't over grab the mines before people can be sent to staff them, hopefully, to grab mines and then transport them over. That should be 200 mines in total over the course of about one and a half years. Hopefully, we can keep up with that in terms of colonist demand. What's Titan on for now for colonists? So we have still got a worker shortage. Wow. Even after all this time. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we have enough mines. I think we send some over to Kalika. Kalika actually has quite a few people just sitting around. Um, 20 mines is a million people. So we could send, what, a little bit over 70? We're going to send 70. It, it's a very long journey, so I'm not worried about, hey, you're sending mines to someone that's not going to really get the benefit. It's because the mines are going to take so long to get there that it's not going to impact us in the short term in terms of mines because we'll be sending, hey, 10, and then half a year later, another 10. And mine production right now is kind of fine. Um, you can just keep it going. That's going to be the key. So it is the A group who are now finished. Oh, no, it's not. Tell a lie. It's the Sapphire Ebony's who are like, hey, we don't need to send colonists over to Titan anymore. What do you want us to do? And I'll be like, have you heard of sending colonists to Titan? I want you to do it more. Well, how much more? A more, more, a lot more. Like, yeah, you need to keep doing that. Where are our colony ships? Here we go. Earth. Load. Titan. Unload. Repeat. Nine times. Earth. Refuel. Then. Repeat. How many times? Well, probably like another three. Do that 40, 40 million people. I mean, Titan. Titan's expanding so quick. Titan's going to be up to a good chunk of Earth's population. It's going to be almost 200 million by the time we're done. <sighs> yeah, I, I guess we don't really have a choice in the matter. Well, we are about to get more colony ships. Let's just say we repeat it twice more. 30 million people. All right, we need to evacuate Davit, Unique Fossil, and Oleus. And I think we can do all of those with just half a million people's worth of shit. Yeah, so the best route to take for this is going to be... Oh, dear... Well, that's messed up my map a little bit. All right, why did you place that there, Caldi? Right. Damn it. And then Oleus, and then Unique Fossil, and then back. Now, we don't want to try and take from one of the planets while it's military flagged because that's bugged. So let's just do this the old fashioned way. Move to Davit. Move to location and then uh, give me a message. Evac Davit. And we'll do it manually. And by manually, I mean it will toggle off the military, do the unload, toggle back on military. Um, if I toggle off military now, people are going to send more colonists there. If I don't have military on when they leave, people will get dumped there. So we're going to need to make sure there's a window. Hopefully the message thing will sort that. Wait, what? Subject Delta still is overcrowding? Hey, uh, ghost. That's a lot of. It's a lot of you showing up. A lot of you showing up with the military-ish engines. Hi. I hope you're all cool. We've got electronic countermeasures. We're now working on counter countermeasures. People keep getting delivered to Subject Delta A1. They just took a whole batch of people over. No, don't do this. They, they can't take any more. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Damn civilian economy sending people over in your ships. Oh, 
Okay. Mars is almost livable. We're just waiting for the rain to come down and there is plenty of water vapor in the atmosphere. We're going to have to start moving a huge terraformer and it's going to go all the way to Sleepy Zoe. Maybe via Tholius if we can be bothered. Obviously, terraforming, you know, Tholius A2 would take a long time. In fact, how long would it take to actually... Terraform. Yeah, half speed compared to Earth. That's not really viable. Um, The accessibility here is pretty bad. Again, same. Are these worth terraforming? Not greatly. Yeah, especially considering tidally locked and pretty large, so it's going to take a long time to actually terraform the damn thing. I think we just move straight into Sleepy Zoe. And there's only one real option, which is to go straight around that planet. Adjust the atmosphere. Tiny bit of adjustment to the temperature just to bring it down a little bit from 50 degrees C to a, you know, nice balmy 30. Now we're good to go. It It's currently a swamp. Maybe we can adjust that a little bit. Maybe make it like a jungle or something. It's a very warm swamp, I guess. Ugh, it's basically Florida. It's Florida planet. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring that over. So, let's grab... The Arbadla. The biggest of the tugs by far. And then... Terraforming Station, the Greenfield. We're gonna uh, tractor it. And then we're gonna head over to Sleepy Zoe. This is probably gonna run out of fuel partway through, but we'll see how far it goes. We'll just have to check in on it. 31 days. Eh, it will not take 31 days. This is gonna take more like, I'm gonna guess, like 12 years. That is, it is not gonna be pretty. Sleepy Zo, Sleepy Zed. Terra form time. And I, I guess we can already like queue that up, so we'll just say what do you need? Just phrygium. Like there's nothing to take out in the atmosphere. It's literally just add a bit of phrygium. Okay. Um add like 0.15 and we'll see where we go. We also do have a load of Jagnas who are like, hey, we're done. What do you want to do with us? And I'm like, hey, Jagnas, uh, you're pretty badass, but I actually don't know right now unless we start running further away. I mean, we could do the spaceport thing. We do need to take a spaceport over to Idril. Yeah, that's probably the best bet because that's going to take a few trips. So now you've done taking mines to Europa and IO. Take a little break. Grab yourself, grab yourself a merry little spaceport. May the old tide gay. From now on, the colony kit act is gonna get repealed someday. So have yourself a merry little panic attack today. Okay, that is gonna take half a year. We need to do that. Three more times. Yeah. Basically going to be like a two year, almost two year thing. So good to get it started early. We do need to start thinking about that uh, Outer Defense Act at some point. I kind of want to get us a little bit more stable. But we also need to send maintenance facilities to all of these places. And we can't forget that. Each of these places needs maintenance facilities enough to be able to deal with its defense force. Which consists of, you know, 10,000 tons of fighter. So, seven maintenance facilities each. Not a big problem. Seven transports will be able to take that. I believe maintenance facilities are one per transport. We will just pull that up just in case I am wrong. Um, maintenance facility. Yep, one per transport. And here's the fun thing. It's the requirement of the colony. The requirement of the colony is it needs to be defended, but... That split between the number of colonies in the system because all colonies share the same system defense. So the way that that kind of works out is if we have multiple colonies in the system, they can share those maintenance studies amongst them. Just the way the wording kind of works out. 
So, Sol, we don't need to put maintenance facilities on any of the other planets. Earth has enough. Um, obviously, Subject Delta needs seven on either of the planets. So, the planet that, obviously, we can put more people on. Um, Idril. One planet, done. Agent, the planet that has more people on, done. Again, and we're basically good. Like, that is going to be a total of 21 need transferring. So, it shouldn't be too big a task. Oh, evac davit time. And, if I'm not mistaken, we should have plenty of Jagnas now. Let's do a refresh. And, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I said do, 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 do. Where's my cargo? Here we go. Uh, we have 12 sitting in the cargo fleet, so we can afford to take 10 of them and add them to an existing group of 10, which is my plan. Uh, when's the next group of 10 going to be free? It's looking like this group here. Half a year. Yep. Okay. When that group is next free, we'll dump these together and then we'll make some maintenance facility runs and we should be good with that. And that'll, that'll give us all the requirements for those outer colonies. Um, we've also just got our launch cannon velocity, which is the range. And we will next grab... Oh, how are we doing, by the way, on the production of those new colony ships? That's worth checking out. Also, how much population we have? Plenty. Colony ships. A uh, little behind on that one. But ultimately, we're looking at like a July completion for this year. So, not too long. Right. Colony fleet. Uh, Davit. Davit, 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 Davit. Remove the restriction. Load colonists. Go forward one day. Okay. Load of complaints, but we have them. And then military restrict Davit. Yes. Okay. Uh, move on, and we're going to evacuate Tholius next, because it's not productive, and we can't afford to put a, a thing there. Though this was kind of like a long-term growing situation. This is not, not going to be a good idea to try and have to dump it with all this stuff. And honestly, they're not really doing anything there at the moment anyway. All it, all this is losing us is the time that this colonist fleet is, you know, doing this. They're not losing any production. They weren't going to produce anything. Um, send message when you get to Tholius and Ezek. Tholius. Okay. Oh, we got the internal confinement fusion drive technology. That is beautiful. Okay. We have ourselves the next tier of drive. Thank you to the production on Hoyle. Um... Still got overcrowding here. Okay, let's go deal with that over at Hoyle. Oh, the Holy Rock started to be... Uh, we're going to have to provide for the Holy Rock. You know what? That's fine. The Holy Rock's amazing. Right, oh, Hoyle. Oh, have I been forgetting to send stuff to Hoyle? We need to send a spaceport to Hoyle and maintenance facilities. We have Deep Space Tracking Station there already. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Research. Uh, propulsion. And then capacity recharge rate, jump drive efficiency, fuel consumption, magnetic confinement, fusion reactor. That's going to take ages. I am thinking... Uh, probably it's going to be biting the bullet doing a lot of these 15s. It depends what we go for first. Capacitor recharge rate, obviously great for our lasers. Fuel consumption, obviously just better in general for our fuel consumption. Jump drive efficiency, very useful for the next wave of warships where the command vessel doesn't need to have a, you know, sixth of the vessel be jump drive, an eighth of the vessel. That's a big step. 
I think primarily though, capacitor is going to make a bigger difference initially. Fuel consumption, not as much of an issue to me anymore. We've got a lot of fuel. Oh, um, sorry, cue that up. If anything, I would maybe want to send a few more labs over. We could maybe send over a few more labs, you know, um, two to four more labs, get this thing like properly on the road. We have people just sitting around, not doing, no, we don't. Okay. Yeah. Coil, you need more people. Get more people going. Sure. We have found the Etoile Lion system. There's not a lot to say about it, really. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in it, but nothing particularly habitable in our size range. You've got this tiny little low gravity moon, so I wouldn't really put this down as a, as a winner unless there's some, you know, amazing sort of uh, mineral deposits or something. Oh, we have the bigger generators now available. We're now working on a new regeneration rate. Thank you very much, Precursors, for helping us along with this tech. Okay, last one. Unique fossil. Let's do this. And then... Economy restrict. Uh, we'll also restrict this. Um, ruin colony. Oh, I set you as a source of colonists. You don't have people there. All right, fair enough. I will I will not set you as a military district colony, just as a source, and we'll see what happens. You know what? Just in case there's a colony ship en route, and this might solve it, I'm going to flag it to not do that. Um, With the colonists you have on board, we, we're going to take them to Titan. Like, we know the drill by now, right? You go to Titan... You unload the colonists, you go to Earth, you refuel. And honestly, actually, no, we do need to do a thing. We need to go through to uh, Subject Delta and load colonists from Subject Delta because they're completely overcrowding constantly. And they keep sending people there and I'm like, why are you sending people there? Oh, not that one. Uh, remove last, sorry. Uh, load colonists. Unload colonists. There we go. And there we go. We're using the LP. That Grange Point jump. Very nice. How much time does that save us? So, 104 days. And then if we go to... It's one day. Ooh, that's a good saving. Nice. Right, this is probably a good place to leave it for here. We are now three and a half years in. We've managed to do a good chunk of the spaceports. All DSTs, barring the one that's on the way to AliWiz. Uh, we do need to send a spaceport over to Unique Fossil as well. Finish off the ones in Agent. I think we've got ones en route to Idril. Yes, we do. Um, maintenance facilities do need to be sent out. Beyond that, though... And obviously, the stuff in Sol, we should be good on the Colony Kit Act. Um, let me just check on that. Sol. How's that spaceport stuff coming along? We do need to send one to every single thing in Sol. How are we doing on spaceports? Uh, yeah, we're going to need more because we've got to do everything in Sol. I'm going to say up this to... Might as well go an extra 10. I'm worried about how long that's going to take. I'm going to knock the auto in mines out of running up that to 30%. That might even be a long time. Admittedly, it's only moving them around Sol for the last few. And we do have a couple spare in there. Yeah, stuff will, stuff will free up. We'll be fine. Um, maintenance facilities is the other concern, because we have, we're maintaining half a million tons, we have maintenance facilities enough to be able to handle a little bit more than that, but that's not including our research vessels that are currently out. I'd like to be able to build a few more maintenance facilities. How many are we running right now? 800. Well, we're only transporting seven per system, so we're really talking small potatoes. 
Uh, we need to transfer seven to Unique Fossil. Seven now to Aliwiz. Seven to Agent. Seven to Idril. And seven to Subject Delta. One, two, three, four, five. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Calic as well. You have a spaceport? You need a spaceport. Okay. Uh, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times seven is 42. Okay, let's, let's make 50. Not a huge issue. We do want to make more at some point anyway. Uh, so maintenance facility. And we'll build 50 of them. We'll queue it up. Obviously, that's just me to replace the ones we're probably going to take away anyway from Sol. Like, we'll take the ones out of Earth anyway. So that's not a, not a huge issue. Uh, I'm more concerned about making sure we have the capacity to get this done inside of the term. Um, then I think we'll focus on the ODA, the Outer Defense Act. Um, which should probably be a, a bit of a tricky one because we're going to probably need to use a fuel station, ordnance factory thing. Um, and then we might want to just ship over some maintenance of these, which aren't required, but are kind of in the spirit of it, but aren't necessarily required. Basically, we want to make a station or a fleet. A fleet can be able to sit there and chill. Um... Currently, our fleets are about 100,000 tons. We might want to just spec a little bit higher than that, but for now, we probably should be fine. Like, 100 maintenance facilities is where I'd be happy, but this doesn't have to be done, so that's going to be the last on the priority list. I will want to do that anyway, though, because it's actually not a bad idea. Having a fleet stationed in Agent and a fleet stationed in Subject Delta in case something kicks off is... A very good idea. Um, and it will it will really help, especially if there is local fuel available. It'll really help the operations. And not not to mention if we store missiles there as well. They can go there and rearm. For now, I've been here so Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, you know, go get involved on the Discord. Uh, that we link down below to the link tree in my bio um, and you know in the description. So go check that out if you want to get involved. Um suggestions for like season two and stuff as well. We're taking those. Uh, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. If you want to rely on YouTube sub feed, you can do that. Or you can just follow in the Discord where there's actually like a, hey, here are all my streams and all my videos where that actually gives you them. Um, and, you know, you can do other stuff, social media thingies or whatever. But uh, for now, I've been Aerolysium. If you've got any Corundium, let me know because I'm loving. Stay shiny.